Memorial Day weekend typically starts the summer driving season, so that means you're going to spend a lot more on gas coming up in the upcoming months. Now, when you pull into a gas station, there's always all kinds of choices out there, so I want to take some time today and show you what those choices mean and maybe save you some money. First, let's talk about octane ratings because this is where people can really save some money. Every type of gas has a different octane rating, like 87, 89, and 91. The 91 octane, or premium gas, is the most expensive, but you should not buy it unless you absolutely have to. So how do you know if you need premium gas for your car? Go right to the owner's manual because it will always tell you inside under fuel what type of fuel you have to get. Now, the premium type of gas is only used in cars with performance engines. If you try to use premium gas on a car that uses regular gas, it's not going to hurt anything, but you're going to waste a lot of money. And that premium gas is not going to make that other car drive any better. 87 octane gas or regular gas is by far the most common type that's used out there on the road. Most vehicles are not performance type engines, so they don't need that premium type of gas. Once again, if you're confused about what type of gas your car uses, grab that owner's manual because it's going to tell you right inside. When you buy ethanol blended fuels, it gets kind of confusing because you've got E10 and E85. Well, I've got some props set up here that'll help us figure that out. This is just water, but let's pretend this is pure gasoline and this is pure ethanol. E10 is actually 90% pure gasoline and just 10% ethanol blended in. So it's not that different than normal gas, really. Now, E85 is different because it's 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline. So kind of the opposite of E10. Now, most manufacturers say it's okay to use E10 in your vehicle, and I do it at times, but E85 is different. That's for flex fuel vehicles, so you really need to check and make sure your vehicle can use E85 before you'd ever put it in. Using these tips at the pump will definitely save you some money, but you combine it with things like combining trips, not letting your car idle too long, and driving less aggressively, and you're really gonna save some money out there on the roads this summer. For Channel 6 News, I'm Jim Champion, the Auto Guy.